Greetings, fellow travellers. Yes, we exist. Yes, we are real. And yes, we are here. How you see me now is of no matter, for it is merely a persona developed for communicational reasons, too complex for discussion at this time. Our true image is much more familiar than you might imagine, and should never be confused with modern day distorted guises created by other human beings that would seek to control your minds. The Earth year is 2010, and after 60 years of the so-called modern UFO era, you are still asking the same old question. Even you, the enlightened ones of your generation, are asking the same old question. With an inexhaustible amount of photographs and film depicting our craft, a wealth of credible, believable and trustworthy human beings, now millions in number, sharing their contact experiences and knowledge with you. A world full of clearly obvious trace elements left from our presence over the millennia, and a presence in your hearts and deep within your race memory from the birth of intelligent life here on this planet of water. And still, still you ask the question, is there intelligent life out there in the cosmos? Life, by definition, is intelligent and is throughout the universe. It exists in many forms, not always recognisably bipedal, but there is intelligence in all things. But you know that, don't you? You know we exist. But sadly, you have been programmed to question our authenticity and to remain fearful of the possibility. Your corrupt religions and your debilitating world governments understand that by embracing our presence, they would eventually lose the stranglehold they have over your thoughts and behaviour. But you have a responsibility to share that understanding with everybody you know. As far as you are concerned, it must no longer be up for debate. It is, using a colloquial term of yours, a no-brainer. Please excuse my often underused sense of humour. We are not here to tell you what to do. We are not here to control your providence. We are here to as assist in the next stage of human development. Call us universal midwives, if you will. But the, but the success of the next step in your evolution is not preordained, but rather it is an opportunity for the human race to prove that it is worthy to take its place in the larger universe. The ever increasing awareness of our presence is nothing more than a mirror held up to the human race to acknowledge its own existence and to analyse and quantify its contribution to intelligent life on this beautiful and surprisingly unique world. You are wakening from the long sleep, a time when it was necessary for your race to seek hibernation, but now you are rejuvenated from your slumber and are ready for your graduation. Just remember that our presence here has never been about us, about the vehicles we use for transportation or how we choose to present ourselves to you. It was it has always been about you. You are the truly important element in this scenario. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever get lost in whatever labyrinth certain elements of your society create to confuse you, to hamper your growth or stymie your true destiny. Then take it as written that there is intelligent life throughout the cosmos. Sometimes you receive visitors to this planet from elsewhere, but more often than not, what you believe to be extraterrestrial is in fact 
very much terrestrial, but with exotic origins. Life exists beyond the limited range of the human visual apparatus, both here and off planet. Life exists in so many shapes and forms that it is beyond the comprehension of many of us, even those that are more familiar with the sometimes unusual appearance of foreign life forms. There is beauty in all life. Embrace the differences in your own world, the many nations of your own planet, and then, and only then, will you be ready to accept life elsewhere, and they will feel safe in encountering you. We love you. We always have. It is now time to love yourself. Namaste.